The story we see here is similar to something we see throughout not only East Africa and the whole of Africa, but the entire world. As ecologies degrade, they take with them livelihoods, stability, and water security. But when we think about water security, many people assume that we have water scarcity in East Africa. But another way of thinking about it is that it's not actually water scarcity that we have, it's design scarcity, it's capture scarcity. Rather than just only focusing on digging boreholes and accessing groundwater. In the situation here, where I am in northern Uganda, what we're doing is applying principles of permaculture, agroforestry, and water harvesting to replenish the sources of, of groundwater so that communities can have permanent and regenerative sources of water security. The Spring Protection Project uh, was brought here because the communities uh, had problems of water water shortages during dry season, even during uh, wet season like this, there would be no water. So we came to uh, protect the spring, but to make the spring sustainable, to make the spring not dry out, we had to think of so many other interventions that we can do to harvest the water that used to run off uh, to the spring by creation of the biosoil that we created including uh, tree planting that will help to infiltrate the water into the soil. The biosoil will help us to collect the runoff that used to go and uh, just disappear. So it is uh, slowing the water, spreading the water and sinking the water into the spring lines. Now the water from the spring continues into the pond, which is right away downstream of the spring, to help harvest that water for use during dry season, animal drinking, and also provide a component of our aquaculture. We are getting uh, about 20 liters of water in one minute and 50 seconds. Previously, it took 27 minutes to fill that same 20 liter jerry can. And for a woman who is fetching five jerry cans uh, uh, per day, that means that she has gone from two hours and 25 minutes of just waiting for that jerry can to fill up to 10 minutes and that is a huge reduction in time poverty, the quality of life and her ability to move on to other things uh, in her day. Aya yindra amani gamvu andala ro dare sar si akote deza. Amati dare ukui di da yo. Zamu dala amata ngazo preza ke dare ko madare ala. Aya te yiman uda lari mvuza bori si di ma babule ta di ma si di ka. Moto uda le saru pipi na akamu ya moto salwa yo pipi alo dama atazo kure. This project, if it is replicated in many other areas, it is self-sustaining, it is regenerative. When we do an approach like this, which can cost about the same or just a bit more than a borehole and a very short amount of time, we actually establish a holistic system that will continue to regenerate itself and continue to replenish clean, healthy drinking water that also feeds the soil, feeds the grazeland, feeds the ecology around the entire community.